Hey y'all, it's your girl Ashley. I hope all you magical beings are having a blessed day. Today we're going to be talking about a prop mistaken for a dead baby found in Queensburg. Let's hop into it. Today we find ourselves in Queens, New York. A realistic looking baby doll was found in some tall grass in Queens on Tuesday morning, spurring a police investigation. A runner spotted what she thought was a baby around 8.15 a.m. in the grass around the outside area of Cochran Park on 215th Street and 35th Avenue in Bayside. Police initially reported the three-month-old baby that was pronounced dead at the scene, and detectives descended on the park and droves as a crime scene and a tent was set up. Once the medical examiner arrived on the scene, authorities determined that it was a baby doll and not a real baby. Officials said the doll was wearing a diaper and had bruising suggestive of having once been a living infant. Still, while shocked residents were relieved to learn the truth, many wondered how the incident could go on for hours before the doll was discovered. No one touched the baby or attempted to render any sort of aid, and EMS even declared it dead at 7.58 a.m. without a physical exam. It wasn't until 11 a.m. that the medical examiner made the ruling. I just woke up early in the morning and then found out that there was a dead baby, one neighbor said, and then the next thing you know, hours later, they were saying it's pretty real, and the next thing you know, it's fake. Doll. It doesn't make sense. Like, bringing out all of these cops just to find out it's a fake doll. Just insane. It's insane, I tell you. It's not to know who the doll belonged to or how it ended up here. The FDNY released a statement saying it appeared to be a baby with discoloration consistent with the signs of prolonged death, but thankfully it was actually a lifelike prop. EMS will conduct a medical review of the incident. It is unclear if they somehow impeded by the fact that the police crime scene investigators were present and considered it an active criminal investigation. As always, if you thought this video was interesting, don't forget to hit that like and subscription button. Also, I wanted to let everyone know that we do have a Facebook page also called Exploring with Ash and Jake YouTube. So if you don't catch our videos on YouTube, you can catch them through our link and other new items that we do not post to our YouTube page as well. I want to thank all of our new and old members for joining our channel and showing your support. Thank you for helping our channel grow. If there's anything that you would like to see me make a video on, let me know in the comments below.